Hey, what's going on? This is David, and today, as promised, I... Well, today we are going into the next dimension, whichever the Dravite blocks bring us to. Gotta say, a little nervous. Uh, <laughs> not sure what to expect. Although, as far as I can remember, they're all fairly similar dimension-wise and mob-wise. Except just stronger and stronger each time. So, without further ado, I've been, pr I've been getting some stuff ready. I think that's how you make it. To make a Dravite Phaser, which does 24 ranged damage. So, <laughs> hopefully this will this will help us out. Basically, as soon as we get there, my goal is to get the net, whichever whichever dimension it is. I I'm not entirely sure which dimension it is, but whatever dimension it is it does end up being, I'm gonna try and get the sword from that dimension. So, without further ado, we will leave the swag pad once more and come on down. Here. Okay, so the twilight clock is still from the last time, so let's mine this out. Let's get you in there, you in there. Alright. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we have a spare block again. Um Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, let's just get it over with. Oh, that's a really cool portal effect. Um, okay, let me think. Um, I'm gonna put the twilight clock away again, although it's not too expensive to make. And everything else seems. I'm gonna get some cobblestone, just to make a little temporary base if need be. And I think I'm ready in every other sense of the word, so let's go, we're gonna have to get 40, 20, 42 Dravite Swords in order to, actually, I'm going to bring that and bring some wood, just so that I can make the sword in there instead of coming back. So, <clears throat> without further ado, Let's go into whatever dimension this is. I suppose we'll find out as soon as we look at a monster. It'll tell us what the name is. Oh. Oh. God. Fuck's sake. Um. <laughs> well. Uh. Apparently, they were here already. What, what's this? What is this? Um. Altar of Corruption? What does that do? Um. God, that's kind of terrifying. Um. <laughs> and quite menacing. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna try and get it. Oh! Uh... Okay... Dravite... Azurite Tomo. So we're in Azurite. Oh! Oh, wow! That's... Can I climb this, or...? So it's just like vines. Okay, let's... These are just going to give me Dravite Souls though, aren't they? Hmm. Let's see if you drop. Oh, you do? Azerite Soul. So I'm in Azerite. Okay. So I'm going to need 42 Azerite Souls to get a good soul. Let's see how much damage the Azerite Swords do in a sec. Easy, you are. Azurite. Ble 44 melee damage. Okay. And what about the. Oh, fast health regen underwater. That's very specific. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, so I could... So this is where we would get the Azerite Arrow, I suppose. Okay. Okay, this could work to my advantage. Is that, how hard is it to mine this stuff here? Quite hard. Okay. <laughs> um, God. Just trying to think now. Do these guys drop two souls every single time? If that, if that's so, that is going to be fantastic. Okay, I'll, I'll, I suppose I'll judge it whether or not this guy drops two souls. Oh, he only dropped one that time. Magic me. Oh. Okay, sorry, I'm just, I'm fascinated by this. It looks like Echo and Enderbo have a bit of a, bit of a bridge going on here. Let's just, yeah, let's come on down so I don't knock you off so I can get your soul. Wow, this place is, wow, it's Divine RPG just destroys my computer. So I have to put it on short render distance for the most part, but like, I don't even care. This place is, it really adds to the kind of the, the effect of the whole place. Actually, I wonder what kind of tree I'll get. I wonder if there are any other mobs. Because the last dimension had the Dravite Gadillions and the normal, t the Dravite Tomos. So I'm wondering if, oh, that's a new Azerite Golem. Oh, and I didn't know it could rain in these dimensions. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Is he gonna? Yeah, he's gonna. Let's see how much damage he does. Okay, he doesn't do too much damage, but let's eat some meat. Let's see what's. Oh, did that do? Okay, that's really cool. Uh, let's, let's fight you. Don't do too much damage, although you might be able to knock me off. So I'm gonna. I hope he okay. Let's back up a little bit. Uh, don't just fall off. Um, get me. Ooh, ooh, Jesus. Um, I don't like these guys very much, if I'm honest. Uh, okay. Now that I'm away from the edge, I can just. Okay. And why is the sword only doing twenty down? Let's see if. Yeah. Um, why is the sword only doing 20 damage? Is it because, it's because I'm in Azerite and not Dravite? That might be it. That's probably it, actually. Uh, no, but it did, I don't know. Because it did a lot of damage on the Tomos, didn't it? Or did it? I'll test that in a minute, but, okay. Okay, I'm not bothering with you anymore. Even though the magic meat is pretty cool. Okay, let's see what... Blue logs? Gives me teal wood. What can I do with teal wood? Let's find out. Nothing at all. Okay, so it's for aesthetics. Which is fine. Um, okay. See, my main concern is I'm kind of... I'm very close to their home, basically, like, I'm within a hundred blocks of being, no, not even, less probably, I'm within a hundred blocks of being at their base, you know, portal transportation aside, you know, different dimensions and all that, it would take me less than a hundred blocks to get to their base, which is dangerous, because... They might be online while I'm here, which means I'm, because they overpower me very easily. But, oh, wow. What's Varric? Oh, I was just that they might not appreciate me being very close to their base, but. Uh, let's see what you do. Okay, okay, getting away from the side. Hang on, come on. Okay, you see, now you're doing you're doing less damage as well. Okay, 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 Varric. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on now. I'll have none of this. Come on, come on. Okay, you're actually... Okay. <sighs> I didn't drop anything but the meat again. 
That's really cool that it just eats it straight away. Um, okay, 16 out of 42. Not doing too bad. I'll get some of these trees. Why not? I wonder if I brought shears, would I be able to get the... Oh, I'll have to try that, actually. If I brought shears, could I get all of this cool-looking vine? Oh, wait. I'm going to... I have to set a waypoint. So I know where I'm going. So let's just set a waypoint and call it... Bridge. Let's make it... Blue. But he's coming after me. So, uh... Azerite Golem. So I'm going to... Oh, I can use my phaser. Oh ho ho! Oh my god, okay. This is cool. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm grinning like an idiot. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm gonna work towards a Azerite phaser as well. Because this is brilliant and then hopefully I'll be able to do as much damage to these guys as I should be doing. Oh, let me just get you knock you off, knock you off, knock you off. There we go. Right, so let's go look for more tomos. So far they're the only one they seem to have the highest chance of dropping the shards. Oh, is this like no that's it's pit. Okay, I thought it was Apart from those two monsters, it doesn't seem too much different or more difficult. Obviously, <laughs> I don't know. I think. Obviously, that might be. I might just be getting lucky. I don't know what the spawn rate of those guys are. You know, if they're as frequent as the bunnies in Dravite, then I could be in trouble. No, I don't want you to fall off. I'm gonna switch to my mall just because I want to save the. I want to save the Azerite blade until. Until I need it with one of the what is it, Vex and the Azerite Golem. I might actually look up after this session to see what they what they drop. Or if it's like the, there's a percentage of a rare chance that they'll drop something cool. Because if not, I'll just probably just tend to avoid them as much as I can. Because that seems like the smartest move. Let's just bring it over here. And quarries. I don't see any of, I can't say. I, I haven't seen any yet. But they might still be here, I don't know. I really hope not. And so, because basically with this armor, as long as I stay away from ranged, oh, he's a golem. I'm gonna, as long as I stay away from ranged mobs, I'm, pr I'm basically in a very, very good position. Um, oh god. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, wait, what's that? A moon wolf. Oh. Do moon wolves do? Sorry, I just heard like a hiss, <laughs> as if there was a creeper. But moon wolf. is he? Host? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to. Go down here a little bit, I suppose. Oh god, yeah, let's stay up here then. Um, oh. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try stay on this landmass because. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take a bridge. Because I do not trust myself near any of these ledges, especially with those really, really fast guys and them, who seem to have some form of knockback effect. Which is a bit of a pain. What kind of stone is this? Oh. 
Um, go up, 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 away from you. Um, so what kind of stone is this? Twilight stone again. Okay, so same as. Oh fuck! How did he get up here? Okay, back, 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 and phaser. Beep, 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 beep. How many uses does this have? Three deaths. That that is beautiful. I could do about three hundred thousand hits of damage on someone, or three hundred thousand. I don't know. I'm not even going to attempt. To, oh, here's the moon wolf that I saw earlier. Is it? No. It's not attacking me. Can I? Can you tame them? Or let me see if they drop any shards. Okay, so they have the pigmen complex going on, or, and they don't seem to drop anything, so now I'm, n I'm not going to have to kill anymore. Um, Cadillians, any Tomos around? Because I'm very close to getting the sword already, which would be pretty amazing, although I have to... What I could do is I could get the sword and then start working towards the 90 souls I'd need for the next portal. Or is it... Yeah, it, it couldn't possibly be chunks needed to make the dravite blocks, or the azurite blocks, I suppose, would be here. So, it couldn't possibly be chunks. It might be gems. So, in which case I'd need quite a few more. 90 by 3. 270. I'll have to look that up actually. Actually, let's. Azurite, it's already typed in. Azurite block. Yeah, it's just the fragments which I get from the souls. Perfect. Um. Oh, Atomo. Like the predator in the trees there. Yeah, there, it's. Oh no, wait. No, because it's doing. I don't know. Maybe it's because. The Tomos are in Dravite as well. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Dravite sword does damage, like the, the amount of damage to any mob that was in Dravite, or any variation of the mob that was in Dravite, and the mobs in the Overworld and players. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass, to be honest. Let's see. Scout for more tomos. Actually, yeah, okay, I'm still relatively close to the bridge. So, yeah, I'm very close to the bridge. Okay. Um, so that's fine. Let's fall on here. Let's go up. You see, I want to avoid those, those fellas as much as humanly possible. Maybe kind of looking past. So, okay, I'm just going to go down. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Oh, there's water. Okay. Okay, what I think I'll do is I'll cut it here until I find the other souls. I think that's enough kind of exploring for the video. So I'll rejoin you as soon as I have the 42 souls I need. I'm 11 away. Okay, um, <laughs> this is actually taking a lot less time than I originally anticipated. So, in fact, I am one soul away already within a video. So within about half an hour, which I was not expecting at all. So I'm literally just gonna head back towards the bridge. What? Oh, actually, I'm just gonna kill you and hope you drop a soul. And then I'm gonna head back to their base near the portal. And yes, perfect, I'm gonna eat some meat actually. 
and I'm considering cooking up that magic meat because it is unbelievably helpful. Okay, let's just come along here and what? Do they burn in sunlight, or did I come at night time, or what? I didn't even know there was a day and night cycle. <laughs> um, okay, so let's. Yeah, yeah, I think there is, because. I moved about 20 blocks away and this bridge was covered in the golems and the the geaks or I can't remember how to pronounce them. But okay, let's here. Hmm. What do they hmm. What do they do down here? This is, I don't know if that's a tunnel that they just gave up on or hiding something, but Okay, so I'm going to put the Azerite souls in, get 42, then I'm going to get all the Azerite gems, 14, then I'm going to get the two Azerite chunks, I'm going to put it like that, yeah, just double checking put it like that in there with that and I have an Azerite blade that does 44 melee damage oh uh, I, I'm loving the arsenal that I'm building up let's okay so I suppose with this I'm gonna keep that off to the side and I'm gonna use these two what's left of them anyway to farm the remaining souls I'll need from the Tomos to get to the next dimension, I suppose. I can't believe how fast I'm going through all of this, wow. Um, I might actually, oh, 40 levels of experience, my god. I might actually have a serious think about going to Isaka, because I've looked up and there are like villagers there that trade very strong items for like the equivalent of the souls. They're called snowflakes or ice flakes or something or ice stones or something along the lines so basically with a blade that does 44 melee damage I could kill anything in about 10 hits oh no oh good and um, so I'm thinking go to Isaka and check out some of the swords I have there because let's go sword okay it Frost King Sword and all these and there's a few there's a few army like this. It doesn't tell me how to make it. Which means it's either a mob drop or I'm assuming I could get it from one of the villagers in Isaka. So I think that's my goal. Isaka next, as soon as I get enough for the portal here. Then I'm gonna take a bit of a break from the little twilight dimensions and make an Isaka portal. But I think I might like I might make like another base in the snow biome for the Isaka portal to make it all, you know, I don't know, just, it would be more fitting to have it in a snow biome than anywhere else, in my opinion anyway. Oh, I love this phaser. Uh, actually, that's another thing. A phaser would be handy to invest in. Let's see, does it do much more, does it do much more damage? Let's go, phaser, Azerite phaser, 30. Oh, that's that's quite good, but you see, you're just gonna. F oh no, you didn't fall off. Oh, okay. Let's. Oh, Jesus! I feel so I'm so nervous around the sides. Uh, let's just get you two. Okay, so I'm going to call it there as soon as I get these guys. I'm gonna call it there, and next episode. We're going to be constructing the little, the little base in the snow biome. I'll call it. I don't know. I'll th I'll think of names and what I'm going to call it. That doesn't matter right now. What matters is. I just got a. Azerite blade ridiculously easy, so I will call it there, and I will talk to you next time, guys. Things are looking pretty swell if you don't mind me saying so 
I will see you next time. I've been David, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.